start with kit of needles like these. Now these are bigger than your standard sewing needles, so you're going to use one of these because this is going to allow you to fit your yarn through the bigger eye. And it's also unlike a darning needle sharp on the end. And next you want the yarn that you're going to use to sew onto your fabric. So you want to thread that onto the needle and then pull enough so that you can use it doubled up. Once you're satisfied you've got enough you can trim the other side and then tie a knot. Next you want to take the fabric that you want to crochet onto and then get a ruler to make sure that all your spaces are going to be equal and then mark the spots that you want to sew into. Obviously you wouldn't normally use a pen, I'm just using a pen here to show it up properly on camera. Once you've marked your fabric, take the marked point, make a hole and then bring your needle through the back of your work. You want to pull the yarn over and then work another hole through your next point and then take the yarn over that needle. This is going to catch the yarn in place to create your first crochet space. And then you want to repeat this along the edge of your material. So keep working along the edge and keeping your yarn to the left. Keep threading your needle through the spots that you've marked and then keep the yarn to the back of the needle and it should always catch to make your stitch. And once you've worked all the way across you can thread through one more time and then just sew through the back bit and create a knot and then you can snip the tail end off. So you end up with something that looks like this and then you can do your crochet over the top of that row. So you want to make a slip knot and then insert your crochet hook into the first stitch that you've made and put your slip knot to the back and then just work through like a regular crochet. So you want to do your chains and then work a crochet stitch into the gap. And then you can just repeat this process all the way along your edge. And once you reach the end, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. You can see it's nice and firmly attached to the fabric. And obviously this is quite a simple stitch, you probably would do something more decorative normally, but this was just to demonstrate. 